All right. Hey, folks, I am recording today. Um, I haven't been able to get on that much. Apologize for that. But I wanted to talk to people because there's a massive maintenance patch coming out from Monster Super League. Nox is trying to load, albeit apparently really slow like. So we're going to go straight to patch notes and go over those. Let me jump to my right screen here. That one, no. Uh, main monitor, yes. Okay. So we're going to maximize this. We're going to open up the maintenance. We're going to go down this maintenance list. Hopefully in the meantime, at some point, Knox will actually finish loading. It has not done so. It's stuck at 99. But, so, tomorrow maintenance. They're adding a new five-star Astron. Looks pretty fairy-ish. So fairly cool-ish. Uh, called Enkidu. Fire, water, wood, light, dark. So all the elements will be of course. So this is going to be an egg hatchable five-star or through the five-star Astron selection card, which no one should have any of unless they get you buy it on the shop currently. Also, they're going to be activating Nightmare's costume, which is going to be Queen of Hearts. That actually does look pretty cool for Nightmare. Um, it'd be pretty cool to see that and be able to buy that. Uh, Capture Fest, they're bringing back Jackal Little Jackal Lanterns. Um, they've used this same one for, well, every year the game's been going, I think, for the Halloween Festival. They're not actually starting it. I mean, I guess they're starting on the 27th, but you can't actually start capturing until the 31st, which is interesting. Uh, anyway, they will have three star water and woods, four star being fire will spawn. Uh, counter rate three star water and wood, jack a little is lower than rare and higher than super rare. Four star is lower than super rare. Basically, the three stars will show up more often than normal rares do on your map. The four star will show up slightly more often than super rares do on the map, but less often than legendaries. Uh, you can only use special astro chips to catch them. They will spawn on any map. Um, and it doesn't matter what map you're running on. I, any of them can show up. How about that? A new game ready driver is ready to install. Lucky me. Except I'll never remember my password because it always asks me to do the new password. So I'm going to download that. Um, all right. So continuing on. We've got, uh, of course, they all capture at level one. You will be able to fuse into a dark or light jackal, a little jackal lantern. If you haven't done so already, you can still do so again in this fest. Um, the light jackal lantern is a great farming unit. SP boosts, um, put it with some dragon shards for that. Goes pretty good. Actually, goes really well. It's one of my farmer units I usually use. Um, don't have gems when you do it. They're doing a whole bunch of Astromon balance adjustments. This is what I really wanted to look at. I could not look at it while I was at work, but I'm at home, so I can look at it now. 100 kinds of stats passed through. So Astromon's normal skill and active skill coefficient will be unified. All normal units will be 100% on their active skill, 110% damage against all on their alts, or 230% if they're a single target only. That's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. Passive skills or stats are adjusted on some increased, decreased skills coefficient. Some stats might be adjusted during the skill up, level up, according to the change passive skill. Three different bit.ly links for all the changes. This is what I definitely wanted to look at. We're going to do that right now. Meanwhile, uh, I cannot install that or it will crash this, so we're not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can get... Nox actually up. Wow, they made that so tiny. All right, zooming in. So I zoomed way in so we can read these. All right, Mushi. Mushi's the mushroom dude. Um, attack percentage is looks like it's going red for the changes. Wow, it's really hard to see which is the up increase and decreases. All right. Mushi, going from fatigue to predator. That makes it actually useful. Fatigue is a use, basically a useless skill. Um, fire skill for... Okay, so that's Mushi. Mushi, oh, sorry. Mushi is just changing some stats, dropping its skill coefficient down. 
Not as impressive. Sea Star. Um, fire will have a 100% chance one turn stun while increasing skill damage. Attack is going up 15%. Water unit, C star. 50% chance to inflict the enemy two types of sap for one turn. Max level two turns at 70%. That's what's going to be with skill books. Um, damage is dropping by 13% on the C star on the normal damage. Um, the five star skill, sap two turns, 80%. Wood, C star. 80% chance to reduce target skill gauge by 20%. Defense looks like it's going up by 10%. Max level 100% for two turns. Oh, so it's going to have, actually, that's going to be a useful thirst on the Wood Sea Star. Uh, lights. Uh, sea Star critical hits shock the enemy for two turns for the passive. That's actually not bad. Um, you just have to be able to guarantee you can land the crit. The dark unit stats 10% up, recovery 15% down. Didn't need recovery anyway, so increasing defense is nice because they. Uh, it's a crit crit rate up percentage boost for the C star for the variant skill. Uh, Maya Mona's fire recovery down is going to SP siphon. Oh, nice tax siphon SP 20% of the enemy's SP. That makes that much more useful. Uh, Mono Wood, five star going from taunt to fearless. Oh, look at that! Going to fearless taunts. That's actually a nice increase for the Wood Mona for the three star unit. Uh, July Dark, five percent hit point increase. No other change. Lats, Fire Water Wood. Attacks are going up by eight percent. Or down. Normal eight. 108% to 100%. It looks like maybe they're going down. They did a really weird job of trying to show what they're doing. Normal 108% to 100%. Weird. Alright, Seedler. Uh, I do use the wood Seedler for my uh, Colossus Dungeon on Wednesdays, which would happen to be today. 8% um, decrease. It's really difficult to see what they're doing with this. All their changes in numbers are red. But they did put negatives in front. So I guess these are, any number you see in red is actually, if you work with numbers, red is almost always a negative. But it looks like, according to like this dark C star unit up here, if they're going to make it a negative, they'll put a negative in front. Um, so Seedler attacks going up by 8%. Lats attacks are going up by 8%. Kokomaru attacks are going up by 5%. Candling. Fire and water attack eight by eight percent. They're changing the wood skill from stun to water hunter. That's interesting. Wow. So the wood unit definitely is going to be going after water type Astramon. Minicat. I use Minicat a lot for healing. Um, fire is getting a ten percent increase in recovery, so that's useful. Water hundred percent chance to restore thirty percent of own SP when attacking. I think that's more. It got bumped up from twenty percent or twenty five percent. Trees, they call it tree instead of wood, so let's screw up on their part. Recovery down, becoming exposed weakness. Oh, look at that. That's useful. 8% to expose the enemy's weakness for a turn. That's actually a really useful skill for that healer to have. Um, wolf, light and dark. Light's getting 5% more attack. Dark's getting 5% more hit points. Cosmo, attack across the board up by 10%. That's nice. Cult, death blow increases critical hit damage of ally asthma by 40 to 45%. That's an increase, so a substantial increase actually. Dark, death blow variant, 40 to 45%. That's again a substantial increase to that um, variant ability. Uh, and 10% increase for damages. That's actually a really nice boost for the cult. Uh, I have an Evo 3 for both of them. Hana's, 3 star fire. <coughs> Me. Three star fire Hannah. Six percent to inflict this enemy of two types set for one turn, seventy percent for two turns. That's actually a bit of an increase. Uh, water Hannah Hana. Six percent sap for one turn, two types. That's not bad. Seventy percent. Still a low chance to actually work. Resilience use immediately if SP is full. 
That's weird. Okay. Wood. Um, attack down. 70% chance for two turns. That's actually quite useful. Light Hana, which I don't have. Attack minus. So she's losing 10%, gaining 10% defense. Shield. Use immediately if SP is full. Oh, okay. So they're no longer pausing to see if you're damaged. They will automatically throw it so that if you... Basically, putting that buff on you is taking precedence over if you were just damaged. Some of the healers only throw their heal if you're damaged over like... If you're like 20 or 30% damage before they throw their heal. But they're setting the resilience and shield healer types to always throw it as soon as their SP is full, regardless of what the health is of your units. Which is useful because you want your freaking units to have the shield right away, and you want the resilience to work right away. So that, that actually makes sense now that I look at that a little bit more and think about it. I'm actually starting up some runs real quick over on my MSL. Alright, Wild Fang. Hit points siphon, hit points of attack, greatly restore own allies' hit points in proportion to amount of damage dealt. Okay. Oh, that is a change. It used to be own allies' hit points. So now it's working more like the fire bolt wing, where uh, the nope, fire bolt wing is attacked down. It's working more like um, who the healing. The green five star Valky, where the attack heals your team based on damage dealt. So it's working more like that process. Oh, that's not a bad change for that. All right. Um, overall, 10% increase across the board for fire, or for fire, for hit points, 5% increase, attack, 10% increase. Dark, getting a 10% attack and defense increase. Banshee. This is interesting. Banshee is one of the ones I actually put in a recommendation for a change. Oop, whoa, that one's really big. So, Banshee is the last one on this list. Fire, Banshee, 20% increase to attack. I actually recommended to do something else, but okay. Water Banshee, 8% increase to attack. Wood Banshee, morale boost, restores 50% of own SP when attacking. Oh my god, they go from max level skill damage from 20% to 30%. So she used to only do like 25% SP, now she's rocking it. She'll be in two turns at full SP. That's awesome. Defense down, um, increase in the damage dealt. Light Banshee, I don't have. Dark Banshee, I don't have. But it's just some hit points or def uh, hit points and defense boosts. All right, that's one of them. Remember, I said there were three pages worth of this. Victoria, fire, taunt going to fearless taunt. Oh, nice. That makes her much more useful. 100% chance to draw the enemy's attack for one turn. 8% increase in attack, 10%. That's very useful for a taunter. Uh, Cupid, light and dark. I have one of each zeal. Restored SP goes to 40%. Oh, wow. That's a nice jump for that. Um, increasing defense quite a bit, reducing attack and recovery down. Dark is getting bonus hit points. Considering the dark's damage is based off of its hit points, that's actually quite useful. It means dark cube is going to do more damage. Shield will use immediately if SP is full. Leo, fire, increase in hit points and attack. Water going to fearless taunt. I like this. I like that they're making a lot of these four-star units taunts going to fearless taunts. Um, max low 80, 90 percent to draw. Oh, nice. Water Leo. That's a really big boost to Water Leo. A two-turn taunt with a ninety percent chance to work. That's quite useful, and that's for the alts. Oh wait, no, that's the three-star. No, right. If that was the alt, that would be incredible. Um, don't have the Dark Leo, so that doesn't affect me. Gene. Thirst becomes Aggression Hit Points. Oh, that's an interesting change. Okay. So... Holy shit, that makes her... That makes her like a Dark Miho. Her alt doesn't change. But her base... She's becoming a Hit Point Aggressor. 
That's so strange. Okay. No change in her stats, though. Um, Wood Gene, 10% hit points, 5% attack increase. No change in stuff. Yuki, Fire Yuki. Not much of a change in increase in attack, which means my Fire Yuki is even scarier. Water. Uh, water Yuki. 80% chance to tap for two turns. That's an increase in the percent chance for that to land. Wood Yuki. Recovery down becomes exposed weakness. That's so useful. I, this is one of the ones I also said they needed to change because the recovery down was just useless. Um, it's becoming a double exposed weakness unit. 70 <laughs> weakness. They spelled weakness wrong. Um, interesting. And then lights. Yuki is more, even more of a chance to shock you. Um, and an increase in hit points and attack. Dark Yuki, only a defense increase. Boltwing, I do use my Fire Boltwing a lot. So they've actually upped the hit points and the attack percentage. So that's cool. Water Boltwing, I'm slowly working on building one. Increasing the chance to petrify by eighty by 20% to 80 for one turn. 5% um, increase to attack. Wood Boltwing, they're giving it a 20% boost to attack. Wow. Anu, Water, getting... Predator going from 40 to 50. Stats 10% attack increase. Wood 10% attack increase. Arthur, okay. All of the Arthurs are being changed. Defense down going to 70% for three turns. Holy shit! A three turn defense down to 70% for that. That that has to be max skill books because I think normally they're just a two turn right now unless you have a skill book all the way up. And they're not stating that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, Water Arthur, 70% now for reduced enemy attack for three turns. That's also increased probably based on max skill book. Wood, no change except 3%, 5% attack and defense increase. Light, Thirst is becoming Hunter. Wow. For the five star. So, oh my god, my Light Arthur is going to be rocking because he does crits all the time. But he won't be landing Thirst. Thirst I actually used on him, though. So this can be an interesting change. Increase in hit points, increase in defense for him. Dark is a flat-out defense increase. Valkyries. Predator going from 40 to 50. The water is going up 10% hit points. Attack 5%. Wood only changes 10% increase to hit points. But they heal based off of their hit points. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, they're making a new unique skill called Damage Destruction, and they're giving it to Light Valky. Reduce damage done to all allies for two turns. That's fucking awesome. That's similar to the Light's, um, the Light unit from the Sonic uh, part, and I'll, we'll get to that in a minute, I'll compare that, but that is incredible. And I don't have any units that can do that, but my Light Valky will be able to do that now. Um, increased by hit points by 8%. Dark Valky, I don't have. Silence is going to be up to 100% for two turns. Max level 100% for three turns, increasing damage as well. Okay. Persephone, I don't have a maxed out Fire Persephone, so this doesn't affect me as much, but 20% increase for two types of stat for one turn. Water Valky, or sorry, Water Persephone, 10% hit point boost. Which is incredible because now she'll heal even more. Dark Persephone, even more damage of a dealer. Even more of a damage dealer. Fire Pebble, 10% increase to stun. Shelly, uh, across the board, all the Shellys are getting a 10% increase to attack. Jacko Little, Dark, uh, increasing the chance to land the sap for two turns by 20%, which is nice. Um, Light Nightmares, the only nightmare changing, going to Fearless Taunts from Aggression Demons. That's a that's a fucking huge change to Light Nightmare, and I know somebody that's on my friend list that's going to be really pissed when he sees that, because he always loved how much his Light Nightmare was able to negate damage because it had incredible defense. Um, Water Hermite, there's only one going to Fearless Taunt, which is nice. Shiva, all Shiva's changing. Fire, 10% increase to hit points and attack. Fire Shiva's alt skill based off of hit points, I think, so more healing for that. Water Shiva, just a flat increase to 10%. Wood Shiva, not many people use that. Increased damage is going to 
And a seal for the witch. He was going to 80% chance for two turns. Light Shiva. Never bother building it. They're not making any real change. A little bit more hit points. 20%. Okay. 20% more defense is a huge change to Light Shiva. So I put that back about not much change there. And and Dark Shiva, which so few people ever have or use, but they never see it. Um, ceiling for 100% chance for two turns and a stun for two turns while increasing defense by 10%. All right, that was page number two. Page number three. Belly Puff, Bell Puff, this is a healer. Um, restores allies hit points for three turns instead of two. That's nice for the alts. Recovery up, uh, going to a three turn buff. Not so useful of an alt for really a recovery buff. Um, wood unit, 40% to 60%. That's a nice little increase to the stun chance for the three star. Uh, Vigor skill is useful. Having three turns worth is useful. Dark Odin. I do have it max, so a little bit more attack for 3% boost. Light and Dark, Todara. 25% uh, of bonus SP when attacking. Attack down. 60 to 70% chance to reduce the enemy's attack for two turns. Decent little change to that. La Yaksha's. Fire Yaksha. 20% uh, increase to blind the enemy for three turns. That's not bad for upping that. Water Yaksha, 10% increase to attack. Light Yaksha, which I do use, getting a hit point boost, a defense boost, recovery decrease. It didn't need recovery anyway. Garuda. Garuda is a unit that they've had a lot of trouble figuring out what they're going to do with. Because they've made so many changes to it over time. My cat is bothering me. Vini, walk away. Thanks. Sorry, I had a text message, so finish that up. All right, so Fire Garuda. Uh, increased chance, so that's a nice change, up to a 90% chance for two turns. Wood Garuda, 10% attack increase. Light Garuda, don't have. Predator going to shock. Wow, okay, that's a big change. Um, with a 5% increase to hit points defense, Dark Garuda, very few people use, 5% attack. Uh, Sun Wukong, fire, going from predator to defense down. Wow. So he's a defense down courageous striker, I think. Interesting combination there. That's actually really useful for Titan fights. Water, 5%. Hit points, 10% attack. I actually use my water one a lot. He does a crap ton of damage for me, and he's a healer. Um, Light Garuda, 80% deep. This is a decrease in chance. Uh, so they viewed him as overpowered. If you skill book him, they'll let you get back up to the 80%. Increasing his hit points and defense while decreasing his recovery. Dark. Um... 5% increase in hit points, 5% attack, 5% defense, and minus 10 recovery. Indra, fire, 10% increase to attack and defense, recovery drop by 10. Light Shinobi, very few people have. He's going from hit points siphon to predator. Oh, that's useful if you have him, because now I don't worry about getting hit points siphoned. Fire Poseidon, very few people have this unit built because you could only just recently start getting shards for it. Um, hit point down by 10%, attack up by 20%. Interesting. Wood Kana, who is a Titan attacker, because she's a Courageous Strike unit. Hit points up by 8%, a little bit more survivability. Fire Incubus, uh, morale boost becomes attack down. Critical hits have a chance to lower the enemy's attack for two turns. Interesting that that's going to be a critical hit base. I use my Fire Incubus for Colossus fights. So that's going to... Well, I mean... Not... I mean, I use him for Colossus. I'm, that's a weird change to have made for him. Um, Rudolph, light and dark. Light is going to be an SP siphon still. Changing from critical hits to flat out attack siphon 20. Okay, that's a nice change because I don't have that light unit at 100%. And so now just any hit will now trigger the 25%. Maybe no more. Dark Rudolph increases damage from 30 to 50%. That's a big increase for that hunter. 
Dark Tanya going to Fearless Taunt. That's a cool change. I don't have a three. I don't have a Evo three Dark Tanya though. Light Sherlock, um, the only Sherlock. Exposed Weakness going to eighty percent for two turns. Dark Lupin, who I don't have, which annoys me. Um, getting a ten percent increase to his attack. Attacks will siphon twenty five percent of the enemy's SP. Dark Lupin's going to start getting used more. And Hunter's going from forty to fifty. Shao Wu Jing. Fire, base skill is going from attack down to exposed weakness. 80% chance to exposed weakness for two turns, 90% for two turns max. Fire Cura. Morale boost grants 100% chance to restore 10% of allies' SP when attacking. Okay, so they're getting rid of the critical hit aspects for the Cura. She just outright restores 10% of the allies' SP when attacking. That's a lot of updates. My Cura was at 100% for that, but it means her skill will continue to work against teams that decrease your crit chance, which means you had a less of a chance to land the crit, which means you didn't get the SP boost. That's a crap ton of changes. 19 new skill books, and Kidu, which is their new five star, Mini Camilla, Venus, Nifa, Cura, Beetle, Pegasus, Cupid, Neza, Jean, which would be cool. Anubis, Pebble, Gatito, Flora, Sherlock, Slime Soldier, which is going to be interesting to see. Grabag, Minotaur, Mildew, and all the ways you can acquire the skill books. Halloween packages, these are paid, lots of money, get stuff. You can get your fire selection card to get the new, or selection card to get your new um, five star unit if you want to throw some money at it. Phoebe, you don't just walk up and bite my leg. Don't do that. Not a fan. Don't bite my leg. She nipped me. Nip. Uh, variant Holy Gleam package available. Spend a whole bunch of money, can get a Variant Holy Gleam. Jack o' Lantern events coming up. We can spend a bunch of money to get Jack o' Lanterns. Um, a Light Beetle package. So you can get Light or Dark Beetles now. Spending money to get it. Uh, dark Sea Star package. You can get Light or Dark Sea Star package because the new slash next super evolution unit will be sea star they, they have announced that additional changes and improvements so this this is a massive patch coming up again as i said already dragon dungeon chance of getting dragon gems will be increased from 20 percent to 25 percent on b10 and dragon dungeon which is important because if you're going to do b10 you want to have a good chance to get those gems champions league first place logos changed doesn't really apply so much all right, this is important. Um, random matching added when the score is over 700 points, so you can get more points. Bands, this is the really big change here. Band astronauts from battles applied to both offense and defense. So you cannot use a band unit on defense. I was a big advocate for this. I was really annoyed that you could use band units on defense. I think if you're going to, hey, 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 you don't bite. You don't bite me. You don't bite me. Um, Anvil, Trinkets Crafting UI change to be more simplified, that's good. Passive skill adjustments, Sap damage to Colossus Boss, Titan, Elusive Thief movement has been increased from five to 7,000. So that's important against the Water Colossus, it will make, make it easier to finally kill him down with Sap, so you don't take 20 minutes to kill him. Astro Chip Refill Pop-Up Notice, um, they're shifting that a little bit. Heroic Essence Reward Sequence has been changed. Buff Event, Trinkets Upgrade Discounts, Trinkets Free Removal Buff Event added, yay! Finally, there was no way to get those off prior to that. Um, it looks like they're going to just do the gems and the trinkets at the same time, which makes total sense. Special shop, um, letting you know if the trinkets inventory is full. Some of the trinkets are sent to the inbox. Adventure, 100% drop fruit on extreme before the first stage, causing dragons on mid super evolution materials not to drop case improved. Adventure, greater than rift of chaos added. Something dangerous is about to awake. So this is their hints that something big is coming out. They've hinted there's going to be some sort of game worldwide sort of monster event sort of thing coming out. That'll be interesting. Next update, stay tuned. Um, special events are available with more comfortable access regardless of website connectivity. Special events icon replaced with Nez Pass. Airship bug fix, battle fix, friendly match fix, golem fix. There's some impressive updates. So this is an incredible 
set of updates. Just jokes. Just see how many people are alive. Especially the. Oh, actually, I was going to verify that. As soon as this fight finishes, I'm going to go look at the light unit to confirm if I'm right about that. Especially the change to light copies. This to hurry up and finish. So as soon as this finishes, I'm going to wrap the broadcast up. I'm going to run my compression routine. I'm going to throw the video together and toss it up to YouTube so I can link it over to my Facebook chats, which I'm going to tag in a second. Um, people here watching this, obviously you are watching on YouTube, so you don't need to see that part so much. So I'm going to switch back over to, here we go. Monsters. This is probably the fastest way for me to find what I'm looking for. Phoebe, I'm not giving you any more treats. You've had too many and you're fat. Sorry to break the news to you like that. It's just the truth. She knows it's the truth too, which is the tough part for her. Alright, so we're going to go to Light Valky right now. It's not the patch hasn't been implemented just yet, but when we go to Light Valky, we will see that she... Oh, it's way down my list, apparently. It's here. Right now, it's Predator 40% damage increase. It's going to be changing, and I think it's changing over to... Same as Silver. Damage reduction. I think that's the exact same name that they had for the patch for the Light Valky. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, my PvP defense team with Light Valky set up like this. Uh, I might have to change how I have her built a little bit. It's going to be awesome. The Light uh, Arthur looks like it's going to be also another really incredible change. Especially since it's going to be crit based for that damage for the Hunter skill that it's going to be getting. He's going to be doing so much more damage for my Light Arthur. He is right here. He's got an 88%. Oh my god, I never actually put gems on him. Well, Guess who's going to be making some gems? Uh, I can actually just replace this one. I had one waiting. And... I can't believe I didn't have Light Arthur set up properly for gems. Yeah. Okay, well, for trinkets. Toss that together. Alright, anyway, I'm going to wrap the broadcast up, folks. I hope you enjoy this. Give me a bell, like, or whatever you do on YouTube that makes it so that people know that you watched it and you liked it. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.